The SYL 2615 is a Wi-Fi enabled dual pro PID controller designed for charcoal smokers and grills. Compared to SYL 1615 controller, it is one more temperature probe and programmable steps for autonomous cooking cycles. Now today I'm going to introduce our SYL 2016, 2615 kit for the Weber smoker. And now first off we have our controller with the LCD display and two M4 screw holes in the back to mount. Next we have two temperature probes, uh, one is a pit for con uh, measuring the temperature of the pit and one is for measuring the temperature of food. And the pit probe comes with a probe clip to attach to the smoker grate. Next we have our 6.5 CFM snap-on blower that comes with a silicon gasket to snugly mount the blower onto the smoker. And then here we have uh, AC to DC power adapter for giving power to the controller. It can be used with any power outlet in your home or if you're using it outdoors in a park or where you don't have any access to a power outlet, you can use a battery pack which is not included with this kit. And finally, we have our high temperature foil tape used for covering uh, any venting holes if necessary. I'm just gonna pinch the And you also need to use foil tape to cover the rest of the venting holes so that the air is just funneling from the blower. So as you can see here, I've already placed my meat on my grate and I've also set up the pit probe with the attached pit probe clip. Next, I'm gonna to wanna to connect my Wi-Fi connection. So you can click add a device here or the plus icon in the corner. And then you need to make sure you have your SSID network name and password information readily available. So I'm just gonna enter my information in here. And then click connect device on the bottom here. And now you notice the indicator switched from uh, flash, quick flashing to slower flashing, meaning it's now initializing. And when it's solid, it means it's connected. So we actually have programmed pre-saved settings for the Big Green Egg Series Smoker, 22 and a half inch Weber Smoker Mountain and the 18 and a half Weber Smoke, uh, Smoky Mountain, along with three blank profiles for you to customize. So if you wanna recall these preset PID settings on the controller, you're gonna to wanna to go into settings mode by holding set for three seconds and then going into the control settings me menu. And then under the recall parameter, you're gonna to wanna to change it for uh, the big green egg or BGE. Um, um, Weber Smoky Mountain 22 for the 22 and a half inch and the Weber, Sm Weber Smoker Smoky Mountain 18 for the 18 and a half inch. So you can change that if you'd like. So we're just not gonna have any uh, recall settings for now. And then just to go back, you can click the back arrow key. To recall the preset PID settings on the app, click the menu icon in the top right hand corner, then control setting, and then under the RC parameter on the bottom, you can select it for your respective smoker. Since we're using the Weber Smoky Mountain 18 and a half inch, we're gonna select that and then hit save and then exit out to our main menu. How do we set our basic cooking profile on the app? So on the most right hand corner menu icon, select system config. The cooking profile can be switched between single step and multi-step in the PRG parameter. Now turning it on will turn on your multi-step program. In the multi-step cooking profile, you can actually set up to three steps. So we're gonna hit save, exit out to our main menu, and then go into the menu icon on the top again, and then click cooking profile. Now there are three steps you can adjust, and then which criteria, which time or temperature um, that the, the controller moves on to the next step. So then we're gonna adjust each of our parameters just to make sure we get our baby back ribs nice and cooked. So we're gonna set the temperature to 225 degrees Fahrenheit, hit save, and then set our ending criteria to time. So we click ending and then time and then save. And then we're gonna set our timer for, let's just say three hours and then hit save. 
And then since we don't want our food temperature or any alarms to trigger, when it reaches our food temperature, we're not going to set anything for step one food temp. Then we're going to change our uh, step two uh, parameters. So I'm going to set it to 225 degrees, save it. And then change my ending criteria to time again. And then have my timer this time be 30 minutes. Then I'm going to hit save. And then I'm going to change my temperature for step three. Change that to 225 as well. And then I'm going to change my timer this time by turning it on and then setting it to 30 minutes. Now you can change this to whatever you want, to whatever recipe you'd like. In the controller, the pit high temperature, pit low temperature, and food temperature alarm parameters can all be configured in the control setting menu. So I'm going to hit set and hold and then enter control setting and then AH pit is your pit high temperature alarm so I'm gonna set that to 250 degrees next I'm gonna set my uh, pit low temperature alarm to 200 degrees Fahrenheit and then since we're not gonna use our uh, food temperature alarm uh, to disable this function you can set it to the highest setting or 999 degrees perfect and then we're just gonna click the back key to exit out how are we gonna set our temperature alarm on the app so you click the menu icon go into control setting now, PAH is your pit high temperature alarm. And you can change this to whatever parameter you like. PAL is your pit low temperature alarm. And food AH is your food temperature alarm. Now, just look at your damper here and notice that, I mean, obviously you can change it to whatever setting you want, but the ideal one that we want is just a quarter inch hole. So now just to test this open lid detection feature, I'm just going to open the lid. And now notice it reads open lid, meaning that it detects that there's an open lid. And we can click the left arrow key to cancel this. Now also you notice that our low temperature is triggered because we set our uh, pit low temperature alarm to 200 degrees and it has dropped below that. Now I will demonstrate what the step finishing alarm sounds like after a cooking step in the cooking profile is completed. Now I'm going to show you what the program ending alarm sounds like after the cooking profile is complete. As you can see, there's beeping and there's an END prompt on the display. If you need to mute the sound, you can click the back or timer key, or you can restart your cooking profile by resetting it. 